Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy my content. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment um, down below. And so let's get into what today's video is. We're going to be doing a nail art haul and I am doing a little bit of organization at the end. This quote right here is something that I can see when I'm sitting at my desk working. So I just want to show that really quickly. Um, this is where I, I store all my new stuff and in that cart below, which I really need to get rid of, is like where I have extras and like nail files and stuff like that. But I really want to get rid of that cart. This is what I gave away on my Instagram. I did a 600 follower on my Instagram. I do do giveaways on my Instagram. So it's always going to be a kit like that. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. This side is just like some random makeup, some samples I got from Sephora, and then um, that steamer. I do want to feature more skincare and beauty stuff on my channel, and that content will be coming soon. It's a different style of recording, so um, that content will be coming soon. Anyways, so I did get a bunch of stuff from AliExpress, and that is kind of where I prefer to get my items. But first, what I'm going to show you is what I ordered from the Born Pretty store. I did get this six, six pack or pack of six of chrome powders. And then it comes in this little container. And then it comes with some eyeshadow um, applicators or the chrome applicators. I use silicone tools as well. It just really depends. Um, I use either or, but I like to use a silicone tool because it's not wasteful. And then you can just clean it with alcohol. Um, so these are the colors that came in the kit. I will le leave the link for the Born Pretty store down below. And also my discount code would will be down below as well. So if you want to purchase anything from that store, you can use my um, discount code just to save a couple dollars. And I also got this set of nail brushes. So I really want to try 3d nail art so the main reason i got this was because it was a set i know i can use a lot of these for gel and then i didn't want to spend a lot of money on the 3d art brush in case i'm terrible at it so that's really um the reason why i ended up getting this brush set and then i think that stone is you could push back your cuticles with it as well i haven't tried it yet um the other thing that i got from the born pretty store was this set of foils and mind you, all of these items were under $15. So all three of these items were under $15. The chrome, the foils, and then the set of brushes. And that's why I like to order from like this store or like AliExpress because you get more for your money and it does take a while for shipping. But for me, um, unless it's something I really, really want, um, I'd rather just order and just wait and just buy more be able to buy more stuff and if you notice like these are the kits that a lot of people do sell um a lot of people buy these kits in bulk and then they sell them um on their websites or whatever um but which is fine um it's more it is more convenient to do that but you also don't have to spend twelve dollars on this when you can just pay three dollars and then just wait like a couple weeks for it in the mail so that's what I got from the Born Pretty store. Again, I have a link, um, I have a discount code, which will be in the description box down below. I don't make any money if you use the code. It's just a code. Um, I got these embellishments from Amazon. And again, Amazon, I got them in a couple days. However, if I would have gotten them off AliExpress, I probably would have paid half the price. But it's not really a big deal. Like I said, I wanted those. So that's why I got those off Amazon. Um, I also got some chalk from CVS. This was like $4. I just wanted to see how these would work. I do have a DIY colored acrylic video coming soon. I just, I've gotten in so much other acrylic. I haven't had a chance to make it. But I will be featuring that in a video soon and also a part of me kind of wants to draw on the sidewalk and play hopscotch like I don't know if I'm aging myself but I don't know if you guys remember drawing um getting a rock and doing it on the concrete drawing the hopscotch thing on the concrete but I kind of want to do that with a piece of this chalk go in the backyard and play some hopscotch 
Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm old. But um, moving forward, I got these off AliExpress as well, and these are like rhinestones. Some of them have um some of the embellishments in there. Um, some are flat back, some are pointy back. Um, some of them have the micro beads in there. And the reason I got a few of these is because I'm not the most creative person. Surprise, surprise. Um, especially with my crystals and my embellishments. So I figured because these have like a bunch of different things that kind of go together, maybe if I just pull one of these out and use it, then I can just make a whole look. So I got a few of these um, to kind of play with or whatever, and these were like a dollar. So when I'm playing with, um, when I'm doing designs with my practice hand, I don't really feel like I'm wasting because they're not like the real Saworski crystals, which I don't ever use those on my practice hand. And then for me personally, I don't wear crystals a whole lot on myself. So for me, for the purpose of my channel, it's better for me to get more inexpensive products when I'm using them um, for design videos on my flexi hand. Um, so yeah, those were about a dollar each and I'll leave the links for almost everything in the description box below. If there's not a link for it, I couldn't find it, but I'll try and link everything in the description box below. So the other thing I got was um, this top coat by You Are Sugar. So it's supposed to be glow in the dark and it's kind of thick. So I do want to play with this in a video and see how it really works. So it's a glow in the dark, dark top coat. So I will probably be featuring that in an upcoming video. I got two manicure brushes and then two packs of lint free wipes. Not very exciting. Um, but back to that the top coat. Have you guys used um, a glow in the dark top coat before? If you have, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm showing you what wipes I use versus these wipes. Like, I don't think anyone really cares. But yeah, I showed that. So <laughs> um, I also got these stickers. I really, really like this, this shade of gold. Um, and then they also have the white flowers too. I got some more stickers, mostly for the roses at the top. Um, some of these designs I'll never use, but yeah, those were maybe a dollar each or a couple dollars. And then I got another box of transfer foils. So these are florals. I do have some florals already, but I wanted more, um, a couple more brights. I felt like a lot of my florals weren't bright. And then I'm showing you the length of these. So again, this was like two or three dollars and you get a lot of foils. I just had to wait a while to get my order. So I, when you order from someone or like Amazon, it comes way quicker, but you do spend more money. Like this was like two or three dollars for all 10 of these. And the selection on AliExpress, it's huge. Like literally everything that they're selling in these boutiques and or on Amazon, they get them from AliExpress. And so you could pretty much find whatever nail art you want on there. Um, I also got these other foils. I didn't really love these. And I know there was a reason I got this set. I don't remember all of these foils, but some of them are like just a little bit too girly for me. Um, I am girly, but not like extremely girly. Um, I think this was, that one was the reason that I ordered that, um, that vintage, but it was bright. So I think that's, well, on top of the silver was bright. I think that's why I ended up getting that set of transfer foils. And again, this one was probably one or $2. So I also got some bits some for my e-file and these are mostly for cuticle work um and yeah not much to say about those I do have a couple of these already but a couple of them may it might be time to replace so most so I have them as backups I also got these holographic letters I got them in pink blue um regular gold black and purple I just thought these would be really cute to play with. Um, don't really know what I'm going to do exactly, but just thought these were cute. And that's why I got them. Again, something that was less than a dollar or maybe a dollar each. I ended up getting another chrome powder, not really realizing that I had a pack of six that were similar colors. 
I also got some holographic butterflies. Um, so it comes in a pack of 12 different colors. And then I got, I think these are the flakies. Yeah, these are the flakies that I got um, as well. These might have been no more than $4 each. And then some more chrome powders. So what else did I get? Oh, I think I got another one of chrome powders, but some of sometimes they say chrome, but they're more like um, glitters to do like a glitter press with. So I'll figure that out like um, once I once I swatch them, which is I'm which is something I'm I will be talking about in a couple minutes, swatching and organizing your chrome powders. So for me, if I can't see something, I'm not going to use it. So if all my chrome powders are just in these containers and I can't really see how they look, like the true color, um, I'm not going to use them. They're just going to sit in the drawer, which is where they've been, which is why I never use chrome. So I have swatched all of my gel polishes. I swatch all my acrylics and I swatch my colored um, poly gel and I have that in a lipstick container organizer. I'll link that video for you. But it's sitting out. It's one of the few things that's actually sitting out and I can see the colors. So I can, if I want yellows or if I wanna use purples, I can see the different shades and you know, I can just see it. For me, that's just how I, how my brain works. I have to see it. So I'm gonna swatch my um, chrome powders and I've played with a bunch of different ways to do it. I did it on a, a wheel, I didn't like that. So I'm like, let me just swatch it how I swatch my acrylics and my gel polishes and organize it the same way. So that's what I'm doing here. I am doing them over white and black. Keep in mind, you can put chrome over to, on top of any color that you want. I'm just doing white and black so I have a general idea of the color um again you can put them on top of any color that you want and so the way that i prep my swatch sticks is the same way that i would do a nail i just use product you see me scraping it off the desk there i'm so cheap <laughs> so i just use like top coat and then like the black polish and the white polish that I don't usually reach for. So I have products that aren't my favorite brands or my go-to. So that's what I used for my swatches. So I'm not wasting the product that I really like. So I know we all have a top coat that we don't love. So that's what I would use for my swatches. So essentially what I'm going to do is kind of um, number coordinate everything. So I do have these adhesive little dot stickers that I got off Amazon um, because I was going to swatch all my nail polishes and put that color on top. That didn't work out. So I still have these little dot stickers. So I decided to use that for this. Those jars I do have on Amazon. And for me, I need all my... I, 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 I'm kind of OCD. I don't want everything in a different shape pot or a different type of um, container. So mostly chrome powders are small. So I got these little five gram jars off Amazon. Those are the dots. I think it has like a thousand or something in there. I'm never going to go through all those. But the jars, um, I just wanted everything in a round jar. Just so for aesthetics, when I open my drawers, whatever, it just looks more organized. It just looks... It, it just works for me. This is me. You don't have to be as in-depth as me. <laughs> but this is just how I work, how my brain works, how um, I'm comfortable. So on the bottom of the jars, I'm just going to put a number starting with one, ending with whatever I end up with. And on the swatch sticks, I'm just going to put that it's a chrome and it's number one and that it was swatched over black polish. And so here I put the wrong number, but... That's why I like writing on these instead of printing labels. One, it's cheaper, and two, you can just wipe it off with alcohol and just correct whatever mistake you made. So if I'm looking through the swatches, I see, oh, this was um, chrome, number one, so I just find the pot with the one on it. I don't do my um, gel polishes this way, but for these chromes, I don't remember all the time where I got it from 
or the brand. So I just thought for the chromes, this would be a better way to organize. But for everything else, I do like to put the brand, like if it's Model 1s or um, OPI or whatever, I like to put the brand for my gel polishes or my acrylics, if it's not polished, whatever. So I made a mess, y'all. But what I use on my desk is a roll of craft paper. And so when I'm done and I have a mess, I just rip that off and then just throw it away. Um, you can recycle craft paper, it is recyclable. And then underneath, I just put a um, table towel with the plastic backing. You could also put your puppy pad under there, just something with the plastic backing underneath. So if you spill something, it won't ruin your desktop. I have a glass desktop, but I have ruined it with um, certain things. So this is as far as I got today. I, um, I only did 15 and that took me like an hour and a half. So this project is going to be ongoing. Um, and because I still have all of these left to do. So I'm just going to put everything off to the side and then just finish that at a later date. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you spending your time with me. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, make sure you like this video and make sure you're also subscribed to my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys again soon for another video.